We thank you for the cold morning. Oh, I love the cold, you know. I really love the cold. Anyway, God has got a good word for you today. If you open your heart, you will receive something fresh and powerful. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Today I want to the subject of our talk today is called the Solomon Generation. God blesses us through you and through your children, and he wants to bless your children's children. Amen. Do you believe that? I believe that because I see it in my own life. You don't want to see your children grow up and get into trouble. And then your children's children watch how their parents behave and they also get into trouble. You don't want that happening in your family. Amen. All the money in the world cannot buy the blessing. You cannot buy the blessing of God. So we want to take what we are going to be talking about seriously. Today I think about our church, our spiritual children. You know, my wife and I have been in the ministry now for over 40 years. And not only in our country, but around the world, different countries as well, where we have been and preached. It's just wonderful to see how God has blessed people. Some of our people have traveled to other countries and have relocated there, but they write to us and tell us how God's still blessing them, and I thank God for that. So I thank God as I look at our spiritual family, you. I mean, just recently he got saved, but now. He's standing here with his family serving God. That's fantastic. So I look at his children, I think of what's going to happen. In fact, that day I was looking at Marisa, where is she? She's upstairs. Uh, I was looking at her and I was thinking, today in our country, anything can happen. The youngest MP has been elected. His name is Prabhakaran. He's only 22 years old. Young man. He's an MP, a member of parliament. I was looking at Marisa and I'm thinking one day she will become a very great politician. I was thinking like that. <laughs> Anything is possible, you know, Jonathan. So you don't see don't go fast and you know, you must begin to think beyond your people, your children's faults or your husband's fault or your wife. Look beyond that and see God blessing them. If Marissa were to run for election, I will definitely, I will vote for her, definitely. You know, nothing is impossible with God. Today we see leaders raised up, pastors raised up, worship leaders raised up, and we look and we and, and we are really humbled before God. God blesses you, blesses your children, and blesses your children's children and their children as well. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, the Bible says, It 
It says that to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask, all we can imagine according to the power that works inside of you, to him be glory, where? In the church, in Christ Jesus, throughout all, all generations, forever and ever. Amen. When God chooses to bless the world, in old times, He chose the nation of Israel. Because, not because they were holier and better than other people, but because they put their faith in Jehovah God. Today, when God wants to bless our world and our country, He says, I will put my glory in the church, not in the government, not in your brain, not in other powers, but in the church. He said, I will put my glory in the church. So I want to say to you, if you're a follower of Jesus, Expect the glory of God to be upon your life. Amen. So we are talking about the Solomon generation. Then in weeks to come, next few weeks, I will talk about David. So Solomon generation, there were three kings. The first king in Israel was Saul. Saul started off good. Saul started off good. He first started, he was a good king. Okay. Uh, but as time went by, he took his eyes off God and he put his confidence on himself. And he went downwards. He started going to witchcraft. He started looking to spirits to help him to become a king. And he, he made God angry. And he died a terrible death. But after him was the second king of Israel. He was David. Saul was David's mentor. Saul was David's mentor. Correct? But he was a bad mentor. So David looked at Saul and he didn't judge him, he honored him, respected him. But I'm sure he said, I will not become like that. I don't want to become like that. Some of us have parents who may have done some things that were wrong. You don't judge them, but you honor them. But you don't have to make the excuse because my father got this problem, so I have this problem. Because my mother was like that, so I'm like that. That is a wrong thinking. You must be able to say, I will take responsibility for myself. I will be a different person because I'm in Christ Jesus. Then after David came Solomon. Sorry again? After David came Solomon. Okay. Um, Solomon. Solomon inherited all the blessing from his father David. It was, he was really, really blessed. During the time of David's reign, it was the golden years of Israel. The best time Israel. Had. It was a powerful, prosperous time for the king and for the nation of Israel. 
And it wasn't just the nation Israel, they were the most powerful and wealthiest nation in the whole known world. They were the best. Kings would come and learn from David. But Solomon came from David. He had so much of wisdom and knowledge and he was so wealthy. So he had a good inheritance. You know, today as Christians, we have a rich inheritance in Christ Jesus. I look at the Solomon generation, which is you today, and you are so full of potential and capacity. You have so much going for you in your future. Incredible. Today I see young people, when I was your age, I couldn't talk like you, I couldn't preach. When I hear some of you sharing and teaching and Wow, when, when I was your age, no way, we, we, we talk like you, you talk with confidence, you have such knowledge, you have such wisdom, it's incredible. 以前呢, so I call this the Solomon generation. You have incredible wisdom. 你有 I see some of the young people when I don't know anything about my computer, I just talk to them and they just touch something and, and it magically works. They're so smart, the generations of today. I look at some of the people now, Clank Church, KL Church, the way they are doing business. Some of them are doctors, some of them are lawyers, some of them are incredible business people. And I, I look at and I say, my God, you've really blessed these people. 我很惊讶, 在我这里, 或者在KL的教会呢, 有很多的专业人士, with all this potential and with all this blessing, Jesus says, 你可以试想那些钱人是多, To whom much is given, much is required. Yeah. 如果你拿了多少, 就要付出的多少. Much is given, much is required. So we thank God, we don't curse the blessing, we praise God for the blessing. And especially now, you are still in this country, you are about to run away, if we are going to have the same government next five years, you said enough. But you're still here and it's a new day in our country and a new opportunity for all of us. But too much is given, to whom much is given, much is required. One man described David and said about David. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 18. Somebody described to King Saul what David was like, and he says, I have seen a son of Jesse in Bethlehem who knows how to play with the lyre. In other words, he was a good guitarist, like Kumar. He is a brave warrior, like Kumar. He's also very articulate, like Kumar. And handsome, like Kumar. And most important, most important is the Lord is with him. I want, to, sorry, I want to hear people say about you, the Lord is with Jonathan, that's why he's prospering. The Lord is with Brother Yap, that's why he's still fighting and strong. I want to hear people say that about you, that's how they describe you. And uh, if you ask David, hey David, how come you're so cool? Is it because of your talent or your power? 
？是因为你的能力，或者是你的、你的、你的智慧呢 ？What is the secret of your great success？ 你的秘密是成功的秘密在哪里 ？I mean, even you go to Israel today, the Israel flag, there's a star. It's called the Star of David. 今天你 ，not the Star of Solomon or Abraham. It's the Star. Of, they still love him. He's the hero. 如果你今天去以色列的话，现在以色列国旗呢，就是大卫的记号。If you ask David, is it because you're so handsome, people love you, and God raised you up because you're so smart? 是不是因为你很英俊呢？是不是因为你呃，大卫呢是很有很有能力的人呢 ？David will say no. 大卫会跟你说不是。So he wrote many psalms about his relationship with God. 他写了很多的手册。In Psalms 144, verse one and two, he writes about his relationship with God. His letter, he writes about his relationship with God. He says, "The Lord is my protector. The Lord deserves praise. He is the one who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for war. The Lord loves me and is my stronghold, my refuge, my deliverer. The Lord is my shield." And the one in whom I take shelter, the Lord is the one that makes the nation submit to me. 来，我们看一下诗篇一百一一百四十四章第一到第二节。耶和华我的磐石是应你的颂，他教导我们的手作战，训练我们的指头打战，包括细致。他是我慈爱的神，我的堡垒，我的高台，我的救主，我的盾牌。我所投靠的，他使我人民在伏在我的。You know, David was the first kung fu master. Said the Lord takes my hands to war. 你知道吗？大卫就是第一位神用他的身体来打功夫的。In the Old Testament, that was they fought with with the hands. 以前的人呢是用手来打架。Today we don't fight with our hands. 当然，我们今天呢没有用手来。But we do spiritual battle with our hands. 我们我们是在跟灵灵的方面呢在战斗。Hallelujah! Every time you lift your hands, the enemy flees. When we lift our hands, it is not surrendering. We are worshiping God. We are worshiping God. You better learn some spiritual kung fu. Every time you clap your hands, the devil runs. 你们要做准备，要随时跟他们战斗。Don't underestimate the praise and the worship. David said he teaches me. He teaches me these things. That's why he's my shelter. That's why he's my refuge. 不要把祷告呢看得很轻。Just the other day, I was in my office upstairs. 有一次我在呃我的办公室里面。And you know, all our rooms are air conditioned. 我的房间很冷。You cannot hear what's happening outside the building. 外面的情东西我看不到。Suddenly, I heard some people shouting, shouting so loud in that in that coffee shop just across our building. 我听到有人在吵架，他的声音太大声了，我听到。I pulled open the curtain and I looked, and there was a man. He was tall. He was tall like Anand, but he was lean, tough man, shouting, and he was about to beat up or fight. A fight was going on. 我把我的窗帘打开的时候，我看到一一一位呃人呢，就是准备要打架，很生气的样子。I, I wanted to close the curtain and continue doing my studying and praying to Jesus. 我是想说把把那个窗帘呢关掉呢，自己做自己的东西。But I don't know what happened. Suddenly I stood up. 不知道为什么。And I came out of the office and Pastor Kasif was there. 我下去 ，Pastor Kasif 也跟跟我在一起。So I said, "Come with me. We are going downstairs." 我们走过去。And because he's a foreigner, I told him, "You just stay downstairs. You don't do anything." 我跟我跟巴斯卡斯汀说，就是你在这里等着，不要过去，因为他是外国人。I said, "I'm going across to the coffee shop." 我自己过去，那个啊啊咖啡店。That was a stupid thing to do, but I don't know why I did it. 为什么我这么愚蠢的做这样的东西呢 ？You know, at my age, I don't need kung fu and fighting, and no, I I cannot. 虽然说我很老。啊！可是呢，我呢很勇敢的走过去。谢谢你。<笑> so I walk over there, and there was this guy who wants to punch, and people were frightened and shouting and screaming like a madman. 那个男子呢，他高大，已经准备了要跟对方战斗。So I just walked over to him. 我走过去。
I just put my hand on his back. I put my hand on his back. I said, "Shh." I said, "Shh." I said, "Shh." And I just took him, and he followed me like a little boy. I just walked him out of the coffee shop and just said, "It's okay, go home." I was thinking, why did I do that? There is power in your hands. I'm not saying you do that all the time, but of course, this hand was ready. This hand was ready to give him one, you know. But please understand, the same God of David is your God. Same God. He will bring things under you, not above you. 你要记住，神呢可以把他的能力给别人，今天也能够给你。我呢？把他完全的融化，然后带他离开这里。You should take photos when I do this. <laughs> Now we come to Solomon's generation. 来，我们看我们的所罗门的时代。So, Solomon watched his father and knew. He knew about. He would talk very highly, and he loved his father David. 所罗门呢，他他他他很他很尊重他的父亲，他知道他父亲想要什么。In First Kings chapter four, he describes this man. 来，我们看鲁王，呃 ，First Kings， c h a p t e r four, verse twenty nine to thirty three。Yeah. Okay. 我用这里我自己，因为还没有开始。Ah,、uh, you you say or I say first? You say first. All right. Okay. 神赐给所罗门极大的智慧，聪明和广大的心，如同海海沙不可测量。所罗门的智慧超越。超过东方人和埃及人的一切智慧，他他的智慧呢，胜过万人，胜过其他人以身，并马赫儿子阿曼、贾各、达大的智慧，他的名声传扬在四周列国。他做的一言三千句，词歌一千零五首，他讲论草木。立志巴黎，香柏树自到墙上。他又讲飞禽走兽、昆虫水族，所有的国家，国家的人都来听所罗门显示的智慧。他们来自地上所有的王都愿意听他的话。If you can, you go home, read it again. This describes the Solomon generation, and you and I, in a sense, it describes us. How God wants to give you wisdom and great discernment. You can go back to read this passage. It's really very interesting. God said that He was a man with a big heart. He was very generous. He was very wise. His depth of understanding was infinite, cannot be measured, just super great. God said that He was a man with a big heart. Just now you touch my hair. I said okay. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> Solomon was wiser than all the people of the East. Solomon, 呢，他的智慧是超过一切。All the people in the known world, Solomon was far, far wiser, and he was only twenty years old. 他只是二十岁，试想一下，二十岁。Twenty years old. Solomon, 他拥有。一切的智慧在这个地球上。He was t w years old. He died when he was f i or f i years old. 他死的时候才五十九岁。And during his time, nations came under him. Nations came and paid homage and respect to Israel. 他的邻国所有的国家呢，都很尊重他，因为他是一个很有智慧的王。He composed t h o u s a n d proverbs. 他有，他写了三千句的预言。One thousand and five songs. 他也写了诗歌一千零五首。He wrote volumes, volumes of books on plants, every kind of plant, from small little plants to big trees. He had the wisdom of all of that. 试想一下，他可以写百科全书， He'll... 所有的书里面一切都有。He also had encyclopedias of biology describing animals, birds, insects, fish. Such a wise man. 不只是飞禽走兽、物理，还有其他的东西。And maybe some of his wisdom is still kept in Israel, and I believe other countries like China and other places have learned about his findings in nature. 
，我相信呢，他他所写的东西现在还在以色列，我也相信呢，我们中国人也有承受他这一个方面的东西。Sometimes when we are so rich and so smart， 当我们太有钱、太聪明的时候。That's the blessing of God. I, I'm all for it. I love riches. I love blessing. That's from God. 当然，这个是祝福啊。But sometimes we can get a bit cocky, a bit proud. 有时候我们来到这一方面的时候，我们感觉到我们很自傲。And that's what happened to Solomon. 这就是为什么所罗门他会发生这个事情。After the book of Proverbs and the Song of Solomon, we get a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. That's his last book that he wrote. Solomon, he wrote a book called Ecclesiastes. In the last book that he wrote, <laughs> it's called the Book of Ecclesiastes, but it's in the Bible. He wrote a book called "The Curse of the Righteous," which is also written in the Bible. It's the last book that he wrote. The last book that he wrote. And in this book, he made some statements which we can learn so that we don't follow that kind of lifestyle. In this book, he wrote a book that he wrote. He said, "Everything in this world is useless." This is his last book. In his last book, he said, "From chapter one to chapter six, he said, 'Everything that is under the sun, please remember these words: under the sun is vanity, empty, and useless.'" In his last book, he said. 所有一切在阳光以下的东西呢，是虚空的 ，useless， 没用的。He had all the money in the world. 他有很多很多钱。His house and the temple that he built was covered with gold and diamonds and rubies and emeralds, precious stone, everywhere. 他所住的地方呢，都装了金银珠宝。He said, "Whatever I put my hand to do, I got it." 我所要的东西呢，我只是伸手我就得到。Every day, his staff members would eat. In one day, every day, when they eat, it's thirty cows, sheep, deer, fowls of the air, and tons of wine every day. That's a makan. 试想一下，每一天他的手下呢，吃了三只、三十只的牛，和一吨的酒。试想一下，那个是多大、多庞大的 ？It tells us that his people did not have to live in the city where there were walls. He said every man can live under his own vine. That means, like, no gates, and they just live freely. It was abundance. 他他跟他跟他的子民说：“你可以自由的建造你喜欢的物质。” So much of wealth， 太有钱了。I think even G B， if you compare G B with him， G B will be like a pauper， and Rosie will look like a real poor girl， uh compared with Solomon and his greatness。啊，如果要做一个比较的话，我们的 G B 呢和 R M 呢？他的钱在他的面前呢，只是一堆的。He looked like a poor man compared to this man. 微不足道，太小了，对他来说。I got nothing against riches. 太有钱了他。But he started getting wives. That I got something against. 当你有钱的时候呢，就是女人的时候。Because every king now wanted him to be their son-in-law. 所有的他的他的邻国，都希望他成为他们他的女婿。So he had seven hundred wives, and most of them were Moabites, Hittites, Egyptians. 
from other countries. Seven hundred wives. 自己想一下，他有妻子七百位妻子。Three hundred concubines. One thousand women in one woman is enough. One thousand women in his wife in his life is always smiling, very happy. He has three hundred concubines. His little ones. That is, all together, there are one thousand. Think about it: a man has one thousand wives. That is a remarkable thing. And God said very clearly. David, his father, told him, "Obey God. Whatever you do, stick with God. Don't go by their wisdom. Stick with God's wisdom." 神呢，很清楚的告诉他的父亲大卫。So when he started marrying this woman, he started, he loved them all. How can you love one thousand? He loved all of them. 你先要把上帝放在第一。他他很爱他所有的女孩。So when they came to live with him, they brought their gods. 他们进入他的国家，他那些女孩子把他的神带了进来，他们的国家。And God was very clear: you will not marry foreign women because of their gods. They will cause you to worship their god. You will switch your loyalty to 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 their gods. 神呢说的很清楚，我不要把外邦的女孩子带了进来，因为当你带她进来的时候呢，你就把所有的一切都带了进来。First Kings chapter eleven, you can go home and read that. It says Solomon loved his wives and he married Egyptians, Hittites, Moabites, Amorites, and he worshipped. And some of their gods were terrible, detestable gods. And this dipstick, this idiot, he started worshipping because he had everything. Everything he wanted, he had. So his heart was turned from the true and the living God. You can go back to the Book of Kings, where the king of Babylon has recorded all the things. It's because of this thing that made Solomon become another person. You see, even though you may be a king, you still cannot change the law of God. So you are the king, but you still cannot change the law of God. Amen. David loved the law of God. He said, "Oh, I love the statute. Even though some of these things may hurt me, but I still love the law of God. Even though he was a king, he could have changed the law to suit his lifestyle, but he says, 'No, I love, I love God's law. I love God's law.'" 大卫呢，太爱神了，他把神放在第一，所有的一切。So we want to look at three things and then we'll close. What happened to Solomon? Let's learn. 来，我们看一下这三样东西。How he became cocky. Wait, wait for me to call it up one by one. All right. Remember, never bring things under the sun. 来，我们看一下什么东西呢？让他自狂，让他自傲。Why? Because above the sun is God. Under the sun means you bring things according to the world's wisdom and the world's lifestyle. 阳光以下呢是所有我们一切的东西。This is how everybody does it. It's okay. 就是我们生活在。It's okay. 没有问题呀。So number one with Solomon. 第一，所罗门。He compromised. 他呢妥协。我们说，所罗门第一呢，他就是开始他妥协。When you make lifestyle your goal, if I have this car, if I have that girl, if I have this house, man, I'll be happy. You are bringing things under the sun. 当你认为呢，所有的东西都可以妥协的时候呢，不管是女人、钱财或是一切的东西呢，你就开始有问题了。I want you to know, I, I'm not old-fashioned. Okay, I'm not a sumboy. Okay, I, I, I love life. I like. I like food. I love music. I love wine. I love friends. All these things are good. All right. So don't think I'm being old-fashioned. But there are some things that when God says, "Don't bring it under the sun. Keep it with God. Stay there." Today, I'm telling you, it's not because I'm old-fashioned or I'm like a sumboy. I'm a very open person who can accept all kinds of things. I'm not a legalist. I'm not a legalist. 
I love the freedom that we have in Jesus. But don't take the grace of God down below the sun, under the sun, and make your lifestyle like how people live. Don't do that. Unacceptable. God hasn't changed, he's still God. His word hasn't changed as well. So don't compromise. Everybody is doing it. It's okay, Pastor. I go out with my non Christian girlfriend, or I marry somebody who's not yet a Christian. Be wise. Listen to God's word. Stay smart. Sometimes in church, you know, we think we are bigger than God. Well, it's the grace of God. God still loves me. Of course, He still loves you. He always love you. I know some Christians for them nowadays to use the F word. You know, the F word. They drop it like bombs. It's okay. Everybody talks like that. No, there are some things that are not okay. Not okay. You些人都想講F so So Solomon went down a spiral, spiral went down. Today you go to Israel. They say these are the walls of Solomon. No, it's not the walls of Solomon. All the temple that Solomon had and everything he had was wasted to the ground. 来我们看一下为什么你看所罗门呢他开始走下坡的时候呢你看现在的以色列的墙那个不是所罗门的墙所罗门的墙已经在很久以前已经被销毁了 go to Israel there's a wall you find all the Jewish people praying 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 they want the glory to come back those walls were actually built by the Romans. They were Solomon's temple was wiped down to the ground, gone. When Jesus comes back, he's not going to build a human empire, he's building his empire. Your kingdom come, your will be done. So you know, so I just wanted you to get that. That's a little bit extra. <laughs> okay. The second thing wrong with Solomon was he relied on himself. Self-reliance. Okay, we said the second. The second, we said is self-reliance and reliance. He depended on himself. He depended on himself. Instead of being trusting God, he thought, well, look at what I built. 他应该是要相信神的，可是他呢，就是自负，就是只是相信自己。We have to walk humbly before God. 我们应该要谦虚，我们在神的面前。Don't be so proud about what you have. Overnight, it can be gone, just like that. It could, it could have been gone. 不要太骄傲在神的面前，因为可能你在一天里面会失去所有的一切。Look at my house. Look at my car. Look at my ministry. Look at my music. Look at this. Walk humbly before God. Shut your mouth. And walk humbly. Don't be dependent on yourself. It is God. Walk humbly before God. I pray every day. In fact, I want you. I want you to try this this week. Every day when you get get up, instead of sending a text of your coffee or some stupid thing. You know, why don't you send a text to someone, I'm trusting God today. Before you even get out of your room, before you go to work, before you go to school, I am trusting God today. Uh, every day, just try that for a week. See what happens in your attitude. Let's see每天早上你起床的时候,第一个你写在手机里面的就是我相信神。你做看,不一样。Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Trust the Lord. 要相信主。God is my refuge. God 神是我的一切。God is my shield. 神呢是我的盾牌。The Lord gives me victory. 神呢给我胜利。The Lord protects me. 神呢保护我。Send a text to your friend every morning. The Lord is your protection. 写那个信息给你的朋友。Send it to your wife. Send it to your children before they go to school. The Lord is your your place where you hide. It is the Lord, not your papa. Not your mommy. We can be here and we can be gone, but it is the Lord. He will never leave you, never forsake you. 告诉你的丈夫、你的妻子、你的孩子、你的朋友。The third problem with Solomon. 第三个问题呢？所罗门的问题最大的问题是这里。He became very familiar with blessing. 非常熟悉的祝福。You see, David was different. 大卫不一样。David would take something that is very ordinary and make it special. David 呢，他会把一个很普通的东西呢，当这是很珍贵的东西。In the book of Second Samuel chapter twenty-three, you can read it when you go home. But David was was just thinking aloud. 你可以回去看圣经里的撒母耳记下的二十三章里面，他有说到大卫的渴望。He had his men with him. His men were all very loyal. They loved him. They 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 trusted him, and he trusted them. But they were running from King Saul, who was coming to kill him. They were running, fugitives. 就是所罗呢追杀那个大卫呢，他跟大卫，他跟他的属下一起很，他们很团结。And David was with his men, and in front were all the Philistines, and Saul was this side, and David. Was hiding in the wilderness in the caves with his men. David 跟他的团队呢，躲藏起来，因为前面都是他的敌人。See, David came from Bethlehem. 大卫是从 Bethlehem 来的。So he missed his hometown. 他他很想念他的家乡。I feel like that. The first time I came to Klang, I hated Klang. I hated Klang. 我第一次来到巴生，我很讨厌巴生。I was that time in Pandamaran. All the roads were laterite roads. I hated the food. I hated the whole place in Klang. But because I came from Penang. 就是因为我来自槟城呢，所以当我来到这里，我真的很不习惯。So whenever I was here, I would dream of Penang. 当我来到这里的时候呢，我还是想着我家乡。I look at the Klang River; it's brown. The Penang River, crystal clear. The water is beautiful. This you call river? This Long Klang? This what? This even the fish commit suicide in this river. 我我来到巴生的时候，我看到巴生河呢，真的很肮脏。我很想念我槟城的河。Of course, now I love Klang. I'm just saying that because I came from Penang, I long for Penang Char Kway Teow. 就是因为我是从槟城来，我很想念那槟城的茶果条的味道。可能茶果条，哦哦，不好吃呢。安尼我那开掉，哟 ，I would dream of Lorong Selamat Kuitiao. Even now I'm talking about it. <laughs> 我我我来到巴生的时候呢，我看到他的茶果条是黑黑的，到底能不能吃？我还是想念。我家乡的 Lorong Selamat 的那个茶粿条。Yeah, the chak kway teow. They have lap chong. The prawns are big. You know, we got so much of chili and a nice bowl of ice kacang to wash it down. Oh la! 冰城的茶粿条呢，它呢有那个啊腊肉和那些很有那个虾，很好吃。我很想念。So whenever anybody goes back to Penang, when they are coming back, I'll say to them, "Don't forget to bring back. Go past Lorong Bangkok,、um, where you get the Indian mee goreng. After that, just beside that Lorong Selama, get one Indian mee goreng, one koi teow. I love you forever." <laughs> 如果谁有去了冰城的话呢，请去了罗龙斯拉玛帮我买那个茶粿条回来给我，我真的很感谢你。David said, just longingly, he was talking out loud. Oh, if someone will bring me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate, see, was very specific where this water would come from, and he was just longingly talking about it. 
大卫呢，他跟他的团队呢一起的时候，他说：“有多多多好呢？如果我可以拿，可以可以喝到一杯我家乡的水。” And his men, I don't know whether they fought or they crawl. I don't know how it was. Twenty miles from where he was hiding to Bethlehem, twenty miles. But they went through the Philistines. They went through the enemy, and they brought a cup of water for David. 他的勇士呢，不知道用什么的办法，可以从敌对的阵营呢，经过来到二十里以外的拿回他。Listen, listen. Carefully. 这个很重要的。David took the water. David took the water. 大卫呢，他拿到那瓶水的时候。It was just water. 只是一个水。But he wouldn't drink it. He poured it as an offering and worshipped God. He worshipped God. Something ordinary, but he made it special. You see, he although it's a very ordinary water, but he made it special. Solomon, come, let's say Solomon. In Second Chronicles chapter one, verse five. Uh, Second Chronicles one, verse five. Second Chronicles chapter one, verse five. Yes, three. Okay, 王在以耶路撒冷集存的金银好像石头那么多，集存的香柏木好像平原的木有那么多。Solomon treated what was precious as cheap. Solomon 呢，他把最贵、最金银珠宝呢，当真呢是一个很普通的东西。Gold and silver and precious stone, he treated it like sand. 他把金银珠宝当成是沙，海沙。I want to close with this thought. I want you to remember this. 我要在这里啊，结束我的。Every day you get up, it's a gift of God. 每天早上你醒来的时候，就是。Do you value what He has given you, life? Do you treat what He has given you as something that is special and precious, or do you just say, "I'm not even sure. I want to go to church. I'm very tired. Last night I had a party." Today I got hangover, and you behave like that with God, with the things of God. That's how you treat precious things as things that is cheap and common. You 每天早上起来的时候呢，你问自己，这是应该的吗？这是理所当然的吗？你我们完全，你你需要感谢主给你每一天所有的一切。The air that comes into your lungs should be filled with praise and gratitude towards Jesus. 当你吸空气的时候呢，那个你要感谢，因为它可以让你继续的活下去。I thank the Lord for people who serve in this church. They don't do it because somebody is looking, but because they treat what is very ordinary as very special to God. 我很感谢主呢，在这教会里面，所有的领袖呢，都很珍惜主给所有的一切。So Solomon generation. 来，我们说所罗门的时代。So much of blessing and potential， 很多的祝福和很多的潜能。I pray that we will walk with humility before God。我呢，在这里跟你们祷告。One day you'll stand before God。希望你们可以站在神的面前。You won't stand before Mahathir。你不是站在马哈的前面。You stand before God。在神的面前。And you must answer that question。你要回答这个问题。To whom much is given, 谁给你最多 ？Much is required. 回报最多。Give me what I have given you. God will ask you and me today. 多少你给呢？他会要求回。I give you life, blessing, protection. I wash your sins away. I bring you to heaven, not to hell. I died for you. I gave you my life. I require. 我我给你祝福。我给给你呢，所有的一切呢，还有我把你，因为你是神的儿子。还有 ，stand together. I've taken a lot of time, but I'm glad you received the word. Amen. You received the word. Do you receive the word? 我为你们祷告。Do you receive the word? 你你有你有。你有明白刚才我所说的东西吗？ Receive the word of God. 把它收藏起来。This will change your life. 它会它会改变你的生命。In Jesus' name.
Let us pray. Everybody pray, talking to God in your own way. Open your hearts to God. Talk to them, tell them, open your hearts to God. In the name of Jesus. Anybody sick here today, God wants to today, God wants to touch you and heal you. Hallelujah. God is a healer and a deliverer. Amen. Let him touch you and heal you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands if you want God to touch you right where you're standing. Lift your hands. Don't be shy. Lift your hands and say, God, I want you to touch me. Touch my life. Bring a change. Deliver me. Set me free. Raise me up. Raise my family up. Come on. Jesus name. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Touch Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, touch. Touch this life. Bring a change. A radical change in some of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Make me, make me your vessel. Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me jesus jesus bring new wine out of me we sing jesus jesus bring new wine out of me where there is new wine there is new power there is new freedom and the king me see. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today, today, Jesus. Cause where there is new wine, and there is new power, and there is new freedom, and the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. 